Hello YouTube. So, a couple guys have asked some questions on a bit more detail on how this furnace works and how I plumbed it together. So it is a 100 pound propane tank. I took a jigsaw with metal blade and cut the center off the top, so where the velving is. We welded on a six inch pipe, roughly a three or four inches tall, so that we could sleeve this chimney on top of it so it wouldn't move anywhere. So it's kind of one unit. Uh, in order to do that, we emptied it out, filled it full of water. While it was full of water, we grinded a door out of it. When I say we, that's just a general terminology of I did it in my backyard. Um, did the one side, drilled out, put the hinges onto it so I could cut out the rest of it and then open it up. Uh, took some flat stock, bent it to the shape, drilled it out and just bolted it on. Um, I did have a friend weld my gaps while it was actually in place. Uh, he also welded the top. Uh, what else can I tell you? The uh, handle is some conduit clamps just kind of bolted through, allows it to clamp on. So like I've showed in all the other videos, we're just using a bucket full of oil. It's kind of tubed out, just kind of siliconed around. Goes down the hose, again with the ball valve fitting into this fitting and this opens closes to allow zero or full fuel. This one here regulates how much oil actually flows through it. So this is half inch black steel line. As we come down, see if I can get some more light. So we go half inch to a reducer to quarter inch pipe. We went quarter inch pipe just to help the oil uh, stream or kind of center into this pipe. As it comes down, goes into this four-way, and we did that so you can see the oil drip straight through. So it'll be a full stream, like you've seen in other videos. Uh, goes back to the half inch. The tricky part, or kind of what looks tricky, is it's actually a half inch pipe here that just goes through this three-quarter inch. So I put this three-quarter inch nipple because that's what this piece is. So this is an inch and a quarter elbow with a three quarter inch piece onto it. So I threaded in this three quarter inch nipple with a half inch pipe just sticking straight through it. So our air source comes from our blower into the inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter just blows straight through. And as you can see, the pipe coming through the wall, that's inch and a quarter, and the half inch line is inside of that. So with the half inch line, it comes straight through on the inside, hits the, roughly the center here and goes into an elbow and then just drips. So the air and oil will mix up here and stream around the wall, drip out the bottom. So from the early videos, the only thing that's really changed is I removed a section of pipe. So in one of my first videos, there is this uh, adapter, what I call a bell. So it's a reducer. I had this upside down. So I had it in this configuration below this bigger bell and the half inch line ran straight down and screwed into this backwards. So it sat like this with the oil dripping out the bottom and that kind of gave room down here for the air to kind of come around and blow around it. Uh, I'll try and add a clip in here. Uh, I didn't like the way the air went. It kind of went crazy and wasn't very efficient. So I removed that section of pipe. Well first I removed the bell 
left the pipe and I believe I have a video again I'll see if I can find it and add it in there you have she's burning away and here we have it. it's running down running out so you can kind of get a better look at the, get the business end of it so it, I did run it where it was the pipe running straight through and just dripping oil and the air was coming around again with testing and burning it wasn't it wasn't what I wanted so I removed that section so now the oil just drips from the top from the elbow gets on the pipe comes down and air pushes it wherever it needs to go when we light this we get this pot hot and that allows the oil to come down and vaporize once it burns for a while this bell or reducer gets red hot and the oil actually vaporizes as soon as it hits here so when that happens it just spits fire no longer spits the oil all right so hopefully that answers some of your guys' questions on how it's all put together and how it's plumbed in if you do have any other questions leave a comment down below or shoot me an email i'll see what i can answer thanks for watching